Hey guys, this is Ed Rowe. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a simple D3 pie chart in React with hooks. Um, as you can see, just like this, we are going to first start off with create React app already installed. Um, I've already cleaned it up and I will be installing D3 like so in the terminal. All right, so now that we have D3 set up and a component is ready, uh, we are going to import a few things. We will be importing D3 from the D3 package. Then we're going to import use state, use ref, and use effect from the React package. And then we're also going to set up our mock data. For us, for the, us to set up the pie chart, we're going to set up an array of objects with property and value for the objects. This will allow us to create a pie chart and it will be easy to set it, set the data up. Then we're going to use ref and that will allow us to pass that into an SVG element. This is necessary so we can actually use D3 or allow us to have D3 control the DOM instead of the React. And finally, we're going to use use effect and pass in our data. So anytime our data changes, we're going to re-render what's in the use effect. Okay, so now that we have a component set up, the first thing we're going to be doing is we're going to write a few notes. We're going to be setting up four things, four major parts of what will make our SVG. The first thing we want to do is set up our SVG container. And to do so, we are going to set up three variables, width, height, and the radius. So the width determines the size of the container, or same with the height, and the radius determines the radius of the pie chart we are creating. And then finally, we are going to be selecting the SVG ref dot current because that's how you select the use ref value and we are going to give it a width height and overflow of visible so we can see if there's any you know spillings around the container and we are going to give it a margin top of 400 pixel so that the pie chart is actually not at the top then we are going to set up our chart to do so we're going to first format our data. And to format our data, we are going to use D3's function called D3.py. And we are going to have it map to the value of each of our data. And with that, we can pass in our data values. So essentially, this creates a function that we can just pass in the data too, and this will allow us to be format the data coming in. The next thing is to set up the arc, like the actual visual arc or the circle itself. And to do that, we need to set up an inner radius of zero and set the outer radius of the radius we specified. You can also create donuts with this function, but if you set it to zero, the inner radius, like the middle part is going to be at the very center so we're just going to get a full circle and finally we want the color so to create the color as you can see over here like the different color we are going to use a scale ordinal and give it a range of the scheme set to so this is already a predefined scheme set that d3 already has configured and we are passing that in as our color Okay, so once we set up our chart, the next thing we're going to do is set up our SVG data. And to do this, we're going to select our SVG. Then we're going to pass in the formatted data that we've created. And then we are going to join the path. And for the path, we're going to give it a few attributes that we need to do. We need to pass in the D attribute, and we need to pass in the arc generator 
that we've created. So this will determine the distance for the pi. And then we're going to pass in the attribute of fill, of which we'll pass in a value into our color range that we've already established. And then finally, we're going to give in the style opacity of 0 0.7 to give it a little more you know, clarity or translucency. Once we have done that, we are now finally going to set up our annotation. So basically, anything involving A, B, C, E. So to do that, we are going to select our SVG again. We're going to pass in our formatted data, but this time we're going to join via the text. So we're going to give it some text values. And we are going to give dot text the data property. So now in this case, we have to, because our format data is a little different, so we're going to go dig into it. So we're going to do d dot data dot property to give us the text value over here. And once we've done that, we want to make sure we put it in the right spot. So we're going to transform. We're going to give a transform attribute, and we're going to translate that based on the centroid distance. So basically, this is determining the center of each pi, and we're going to pass in the value or the distance for each one, or sorry, not the distance, the data into each one. And this will determine it to be the center area. And finally, we're going to make sure we text anchor the text into the center of the location or center of the text area. So that's going to be in the middle. And we are going to run our application just to double check because this this was already running from a different code base. So just to double check that we have the same thing, and here, here we are with the same pie chart that was seen before. And that's pretty much it. So we already have a pie chart, pretty easy. D3 charts in React aren't that scary. It's always D3 is going to be probably the hardest part because it's a different language. It's, you're going to have to kind of understand the documentation and just kind of have to dig through it to build whatever chart you need. Aside from that, it should be pretty simple. Anyways, let me know what you think. So like, comment below if you have any questions and subscribe. And I will see you next time.